Hello, this is H.G. Bailey. Back to boss time. Let's play Bravely the Fall against the Behemoth. I mean, uh, Behemoth. That just kind of looks like the guy, but that's another game, viewers. Okay, in the first round here, let's have everyone default. Ow. Okay, well, that can silence you, and yeah, that's kind of bad for Ring a Bell. But I think we'll be okay here. Let's just wait one more round before we heal up. Now, I want Adia to use Double Got Your Back here, because pretty much, I think all of the attacks, including that roar, are considered physical attacks. So we need to protect against that as much as possible. That's one of the reasons why I've got Adia as a performer in this fight instead of a monk there. Okay, so now, let's see, let's get Withering Ripple to debuff his physical attack there. Then we got Lux to further buff our physical defense there. And let's see, a good Kira ought to top things off pretty good there. Now, I'm not going to bother with the Love Power Song for Adia, because the only one who would benefit from that in my current party would really be ring -a -Bell. Although, I have Tiz with a katana, I guess he could benefit a little bit from it. But I'm gonna deal most of my damage with him with, after the special move, uh, I'm gonna deal most of my damage with speed. God speed right there. But, okay, we're still good, we're still good. Okay, let's see, let's go with prayer. Then we'll mug the guy. I just have the katana, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the thief knife this time around. Let's examine. Then we'll get Petal Swirl going. Let's see, Agnes. Hmm. Yeah, let's get that on, everyone. I'm a little concerned about our HP. Let's see, ring a bell. Oh, you're, uh... Yeah, you're Silence. So yeah, Silence not only works on the basic magic commands, but it also works on singing and sword magic as well. So you want to watch out for that. Wow! We got the elixir on the first try. Nice. Usually that's a lot harder for me to steal, but, well, that'll make life a lot easier for me. Yeah, look at that damage. We're dealing a lot of damage to him because we're exploiting the elemental weakness with lightning and the creature type, which is aquatic there. I don't know how the behemoth is aquatic, but we'll just go with that. Okay, so now that we've got Silence removed on Ring of Bell there, let's go with Thundara Magic Sword, and then get a special move to further buff ourselves up, and Stomp ought to get the job done. How's our physical defense doing? Okay, pretty good. We can wait one more round for that. I'm bored of you. And then we'll have Adia rebuff our physical defense there. And as long as no one dies, then I'll just have her go on the offense a little bit. Kind of a strange party that I've got here. Everyone... Okay, not everyone anymore. But uh, everyone deals damage based on a different stats. Okay, well, we don't need healing with Agnes anymore. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's get Ring a Bell back up and running. That's why I've got medication going there. I need it to deal with the headache that is ring a bell. No, no, just kidding, man. But let's see. Okay, so yeah, deal a little bit of damage there. Get got your back on everyone there. Well, I suppose of all times for someone to die, this would be the time because I can rebuff my party at the same time. But ideally, I wouldn't want to die at all. I don't plan on that. Not today. Not tomorrow. How much HP do you got at max? Hmm, not that much. So, I think a single Cura could get the job done there. So, yeah, we'll just go with that and default. I'll need Ring a Bell to use Thundara Magic Sword again eventually, but we'll be fine. Okay, yeah, the special moves are gonna wear off. That is fine. Okay, so let's buff yourself up there. And then let's re-equip the Raikiri, mostly just to exploit the elemental weakness there. And then we'll go double god speed strike. How are you looking there? Okay. I want to keep an eye on his HP. Once it gets below about 40,000, then I think we'd be good. Let's see. You know, let's get Thundara going right now. 
and I don't think I can, but I might be able to kill him in the next round or two. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, fuck that damage. Okay, Tiz, your work is done for today. Okay, hmm, now I'm not close enough. I could probably deal like 20,000 damage with the Dia, but that's about it. So, yeah, let's just uh, default for now. And let's see, the next round, I'll need to uh, rebuff my physical defense, and then I'll go all out. Okay, I don't think, yeah, we don't need any healing here. Let's get double got your back going. Then, let's see, we'll go double Fulman shard again. And, okay, that should put him in lethal damage range, I think. So let's see, Adia can deal 20,000 next round. And, yeah, even more after that. Hmm. Or, Ring about could deal the rest of the damage I need, probably. Hmm. You know, I'm going to play it conservatively, just in case. Let's have Ring a Bell damage him just a little bit more. And then we'll go all out in the next round. Uh-oh, all the debuffs have uh, worn off. But I think we'll be okay, as long as Adia doesn't die. Okay, how about this? We'll heal up Adia, heal up everyone, just in case Adia is a bit slow. And she should be able to kill him in this round. And... Let's see. You know what? Let's have Ring a Bell join in on that, too. Why not? And... Yeah, we'll just go all out with everyone at this point. I need to rebuff my speed a little bit, so let's get the Gale Bow going again. Eventually, I will not need to use the Gale Bow to do that, but for right now, we'll just stick with what we got. And that should be good, I think. Hopefully. If I don't kill him here, that'll be really, really bad. But we'll see. We can still deal max damage, at least. Okay, good. Whew! Yeah, you do not want to let him live that much longer after the debuffs from Withering Ripple wear off, because he will kill you if you... Sooner or later, he'll get a lucky crit, or... God knows what else, but... Alright, lots of experience. Awesome. Uh, game? Ah, well, that's the magic defense buff. I don't think I use it that much, but... Eh, every now and then. Magic really isn't a huge problem there. Sword magic amp is really good. It boosts the damage of your sword magic, or just the power of them in general. It's a support skill there. So, yeah, that'll be really good. For ring a bell there. And I don't know if I use Master Thief. I didn't really equip it on my freelancer, but well, it's there. And then, like you saw during the fight, don't worry about poison. It's not that big of a problem. We'll heal up after eventually. That was a close call. Oh yeah, it could have been. And whose fault is that? What do you mean? We warned you about it. Well, he warned you about it. All right, let's insert the aura calcum. I'll do it. You should all stand back. That way, if it blows up in my face, you can live the rest of your lives with lingering guilt. Because Tiz is such an explosive that expert. Well, it's not an explosive. But... Uh oh. What's happening? That can't be a good sign. No? It seems to have subsided. Huh. I wonder what it did. Didn't seem like it did anything. Huh. So, what was the point of that? Is the ship straightening up or something? Oh, it's you, Dats. And the proprietress. How did all those monsters get down there anyway? We've evacuated all the townspeople. Except for our friend here, of course. And the shopkeepers. The ship stopped sinking. It's no longer at a lean, either. Oh, really? Hey, hey, all right. What of the townspeople? 
They'll be heading back in droves, right? They will? Actually, they all say they've had it with this ramshackle ship. Oh. Well, darn. I mean, we just wasted our time with that? They're sailing off to various other realms as we speak. Hmm. Legend has it that Grand Ship was built by pirates. Perhaps that blood is still in us. Oh. Yeah, I don't really have much of a use for the job class. Although I might use a little bit of it later. Well, at least everyone is safe. That's a relief. Well, yeah, all seven of us. Look, there's a wheel in the council chamber. Hard to starboard. Full speed ahead. But we already have a ship. Hey, stop fooling around, Ringabell. You too, Adia. Yeah, just because it got you in a bunny girl outfit. Hmm. I wonder what this button does. It's glowing. Push the button. Like I said, quit messing around. This isn't ours to tinker with. What's the worst that could possibly happen? The Day of Lavos? No. The residents have left the ship and don't appear to be coming back. Women are drawn to men with a wild streak and a hint of danger in their eyes. Oh, you've certainly got that going for you, Ring a Bell, I guess. How about you stop spouting nonsense and push the darn thing? <laughs> All right, then. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Self-destruct? Huh? Every machine has to have a kill switch. What's going on? Uh-oh. That can't... What's going on? Whoa! This thing has propellers hey, on it? It's taking off! This is an airship! Whoa! That's a huge airship we got! How, did How on know? earth does a ship this large get airborne? Lots of propellers, I guess. What, did no one notice that before? Amazing! We're up so high! Amazing! Well, I'll be. She can get up to twice the altitude of the echelon. Hey, alright! We could probably cross over into the duchy on this idea. Oh, hey, all right. We just stumbled on the solution to our problems. Easily. Yeah, if you try taking the Echelot over to Eternia, it's completely surrounded by mountains or cliffs or whatever, and it wouldn't have been able to get up high enough. But Grand Ship can! Yay! Now we can go and awaken the Earth Crystal! Hey, all right. Well, on yes. Shall we make for the Duchy of Eternia? Yes! That settles it. I'm staying too. Why not? You want to go with us? Well, we need someone to cook food for us. And I'm not going to trust Adia on that one. You must all be famished. I'll get the kitchen ovens fired up. Hey, all right. Suppose being a restaurant or a bar, you'd have plenty of food on stock. But all right, now we got our real airship that can go anywhere in the world. And we got a new icon on the map menu, the last one for Grand Ship there. So let's see what we got. First things first, we got well, another, uh, what is it? Yeah, another tutorial quest there. Let's see, how are we doing on those? Okay, so let's see. We need to go to Caldisla in order to make use of that. But first, we've got Party Chat. Oh, yeah, so we do. Danger, danger, danger. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose we could use more random NPCs. Why not? Since the war was ordered, or over, or about to be over. Oh, okay. Oh, 
cool. Maybe I ought to pay them a visit. I've never actually tried to do that before at this point. Well, we'll do that soon enough. Oh. <laughs> now you're just talking crazy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, I suppose someone has to own this thing. Mm, quite a crew we got on this ship. I would think we'd need more than seven people to run the whole thing, but we'll just go along with it. Well, yeah, that is true. <laughs> Man, she really likes cooking, huh? Yeah, I suppose someone's got to keep an eye on the thing. Oh, we still got more party chat. What do you mean, the ice of Eternia? They have the earth crystal, not the ice crystal or water crystal or whatever. Oh. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, yeah, everyone would probably recognize you immediately. At least this time they'd have a decent excuse for re for recognizing all of us. How cold could it possibly be? What about it? Oh yeah, you're from uh, desert country, aren't you? They didn't have any snow in Florum? I think they actually do. But it's like in the far northeast where the plot never took us. But it's still technically part of Florum, or at least the Florum region, or continent. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. Just stay away from the yellow cotton candy. Why would it be salty? Well, I guess if you live near the ocean. Besides, how would you know about the snow? I thought you didn't rec or remember anything, ring a bell? Oh. Well, I suppose that's one way to make the snow salty. Not that I would... Recommend trying it. I like snow as much as the next guy, but not that much. Ha ha. <laughs> well, I think we're good. White. White as can be. Okay, let's see. Well, we got something going on here. Hey, hey, all right, more items. Okay, so now to use autopilot, go down to the airship icon on the map menu, autopilot, and select where you want to go. For the tutorial quest, we need to go to Caldisla, and the airship will take us right there. Though you can just fly around manually if you like to, whatever suits your fancy there. Whee! Let's see what we got. Hey, all right. Stardust that I'll never use, but it's there. So, yeah, all you gotta do is just land, and it doesn't even stay where you left, where you kept it. So, you could just go, like, go to another dungeon or whatever, get back on, boom, you're ready to go again. Another thing you could do is go into the airship and, yeah, look around and do stuff. We're still poisoned from the boss fight there, so, yeah, we need to get that taken care of there. If I can ever get to the end before dying of poison, thank you. Well, I had plenty of HP, or, and, yeah, HP left over, but still. Yeah, that noise is kind of annoying. But, let's see, well, we still got the adventurer here. And some more items, awesome. Let's see, we also got the shops. 
But now, yeah, they're being run by deaths or zats or whatever's going on. But they still got the same stuff as before. Why they can't just give it to us for free, I don't know, but... Okay, so now, yeah, let's, uh... You can only autopilot to locations that you've already been to. So, let me see. Let me check the autopilot. Yeah, so I can't even autopilot to the Eternia content. So, let's head on over to... Well, yeah, Eternia there. Let's see, there's a few places we could potentially land. But first, more villain scheming. Lord Marshal. Hey, how's it going? We just received word that Grand Ship has vanished. It did? I, I haven't heard of that. Vanished? You mean to say it has sunk? We know little as yet, but it seems Grand Ship's inhabitants have evacuated on Moss. Okay, so why do you care about that? And according to what we've heard from them, Grand Ship did not sink. It simply vanished. Oh, well, there was the fog in the area. How is such a thing possible? Do you care? Alternus, where is the Wind Vestal now? After a brief stop in the Kingdom of Caldisla, she entered Grandship before it vanished. Oh yeah, we were kind of there. Her current whereabouts are unknown. How do you even know all this? Muster our forces with haste. I will have every last soldier be made ready for war. Haven't you already been doing that? Yes, your lordship. But may I be so bold as to ask why? Our land of Eternia is an inviolable realm of rings with lofty highlands. Surely, even one such as the Wind Vestal could not... It is by hope I make much of naught. Yet we cannot leave matters to hope or chance, for we now have but one crystal under our control. You didn't have any of the other crystals under control to begin with! Could it be your Lordship's daughter is providing the Vestal with information about our defenses? I would think she wouldn't have been high-ranked enough to know that. Victor, hold your tongue! No, his fear is not without merit. So, what are you guys gonna do about it? Okay, so, we got sent over here. This is the only place where we can really land right now. You could try going, let's say, up here, and try to land this way. Whoa! What's going on? It seems we won't be docking here. Take us to Southmore. To the south! Nice. So, yeah, you can't land there to use that as a shortcut. Oh, there's, there's another one to the east like that. Let's see, where is that one? Where is it? Yeah, like way over here, but you'll get the same response there. So, yeah, we have to go to Southmore in order to, well, get into Eternia there. See, there's a little gate to the right there, but it's blocked, so we can't do anything there right now either. I bring ill tidings. An enormous flying vessel has been sighted over Southmore, and it appears poised to alight there. What Ill tidings? I fail to see how such a vague report is anything of the sort. Well, it's a pretty big airship that doesn't seem vague to me. S suffice to say, sir, it's a veritable fortress, far beyond the size of an airship. Could it be? Lord Marshal? This is the Wind Vestal's doing. Ha uh ha! -huh. Do you mean to suggest Grand Ship has taken flight? That it has surmounted the highlands that defend our land? Yep. How absurd. Spare me your flights of fancy. How do our defenses presently stand? Hmm. They stand ready for war, as your lordship commanded. How can we have a war with only four people? How does it even work? And our troops in Frost Peak Passage, and artillery at the summit are prepared to engage at any moment. Yeah, we've got a lot of defenses to get through to really get to Eternia. We shall join the defense effort. Victor, is the demon child ready for war? <laughs> I like that name for uh, Victoria. I beg you, call her not a 
demon child. Well, she is. That is, if you hold your life dear. <laughs> and whether Victoria goes to war is not for either of us to decide. Isn't it? The decision is hers alone. What about the Grand Marshal? But is she not receiving treatment as we speak? When she worked her magic upon me, she seemed more than ready for battle. Her fits grow in frequency of late. Hmm. Is she not nearing her limit? Hmm. I wonder what the problem is. There is no cause for alarm. None whatsoever. Hmm. But all right, well, now we finally made it into, well, we're on the continent of the Eternia, but we still gotta, well, find a way to actually get inside somewhere that matters. All right, let's set her down here. The crystal lies in Everlast Tower. Yeah, that was that tower that I passed by towards Eastmore there. Isn't it in some manner of temple? But we can't, uh, get over there right now. There are no crystal temples in the Duchy of Eternia. Fifteen years have passed since they stamped out the crystal orthodoxy in this land and remade the Temple of Earth into Everlast Tower. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I would think they couldn't just move the crystal. We must reach the city before we can get to the tower. And that means a trip through Frost Peak Passage. It's not very long, actually. The army has special defensive units stationed there to prevent any intruders. Oh! It will be a fierce fight. So I suggest we prepare before setting out. Yeah, I've got some special preparations that I'm going to have to make here. Gat and Zat, I want you to take the proprietress and flee in the ship if the worst comes to worst. Yeah, I don't mean to, uh, you know, call the ship once we get inside. Understood. We wouldn't be able to land anywhere anyway. You can count on us. You can land in the water, too, and just sail around, but nah, we don't need to do that. Actually, there is one more place I would like to go, but not today. For now, okay, now we finally landed, and let's see. One thing I want to do is... I, I want to learn stop immunity for all of my party members. I think you get that at level 7? if I recall correctly. So, I've already done that with Anya there, but I'm going to need to do that with my other party members because we're going to start running into bosses that can inflict the stop status there. But can we get through here to the town of Eternia? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Default. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!